Hello everyone and welcome back to Solar System Tourism in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul, where I send my Twitch livestream audience to their preferred destination, providing that they pay with the in-stream currency struts, which they earn by watching. We begin around Jupiter, as you can see, with Becca and Synonym Toast Crunch trying to get to Ganymede, the largest moon of Jupiter, and Synonym Toast Crunch wants to land there. Pekka only uh, paid for Orbit, so Pekka will not be landing there. And here we are arranging our periapsis, but it's going to take so much to capture, you can see 1,564 meters per second there, that we will have to make multiple passes since this is a ion-engined ship and ion engines take a lot of time. So here is the first pass of Ganymede. And of course we did not capture, so we continued in orbit around Jupiter after that. And I had to arrange for another pass. And that's always a little bit difficult. We don't want to pass in an awkward way, which will make it even harder to capture. Here we can see that I was planning for about 200 meters per second to capture. It was actually more than that. Uh, I replied and it was 250, but still we can't do 250. Uh, during the time frame that we're passing through Ganymede space. So, yeah, here we got down to about 100. That's, I mean, it doesn't seem like much. And maybe I could have used some of the alternate engines we have on here, but I did not. I decided that we would make another pass as we escape and get a nice view of Ganymede again as we leave again. But anyway, this does have plenty of Delta V to work with, so that was fine, though out in Jupiter space when I tried to replot to get another encounter, it was costing quite a lot just to match orbits with Gamma. You can see all we're doing is trying to lift our orbit up to match orbits and it's costing about 600. And I guess some of that's Oberth effect, but it's sort of weird. Anyway, so yeah, it cost us a lot not capturing that one time, but this time uh, with this pass, we were very, very close to being in orbit around Ganymede just from the start, and it was okay. So finally we got into orbit around Ganymede, and we needed to rendezvous with the other vessel in orbit around Ganymede in order to get supplies. So you can see our water in particular is fairly low on here. And so I'm looking at that descending node, trying to figure out how to line up these two vessels. This is a supply vessel already around Ganymede that has plenty of food, water, and oxygen and we would like to get that off of it. So it does most of the work because it had plenty of Delta V. And you can see we corrected the inclination and we're just trying to figure out how to do all this with ion engines basically. It takes a long time to rendezvous when all you've got is ion. Well, it's not all we've got is ion engines. The trick is that the hypergolic engines that we have on the ship are actually part of the lander and we have a little bit of spare fuel but not a whole lot with that. We want to reserve most of that fuel for the landing. Anyway, we do on the very last bit of the rendezvous use those engines. Actually one got busted, I don't know how. We were supposed to have five engines on the lander, we ended up with four. Uh, but yeah, we use that for like the last 20 meters per second just because otherwise we wouldn't have made the encounter. Uh, ion engines just take too long to burn 20 meters per second. So we use those, uh, we use the spare fuel in the main ship and we still had all of the fuel we needed in the lander locked up. And I just unlocked it and deployed the lander with Synonym Toast Crunch and the supply vessel docked on the port where Synonym Toast Crunch had been in order to transfer the supplies. That was the simplest arrangement. There are docking ports on the side, but I decided not to use them. We did boink the docking port there. There is no magnetism with the docking ports with realism overhaul. They just... They re resist actually connecting as much as possible, but there we go, finally. Alright, so... Supplies transferred. And then we would just let the supply ship go. But actually, I decided since this had so much delta V, it could help bring the lander into a lower orbit. And so we docked it to the lander. The orbit we're in right now has an apoapsis above a thousand kilometers, so I decided that was a bit high. It'd be better to get into a lower standby orbit. And that would save the lander about 200 meters per second on the way down and another 200 on the way up. 
uh, unless we wanted to use the main ship to get it down, but that seemed like it might hurt our ability to get back, so using this supply vessel to bring it down and bring it up again was a good idea. So that is what we did, and that is our landing orbit, if you will. And I tried to aim for that spot there. Now, taking a look, it's all bright. This is on the sunlit side. And keep that in mind because as we start our landing, it's oddly shadowed around here. You can see there's, there's bright spots for sure, but then there's super intensely shadowy spots. And I didn't quite understand that. We ended up landing in one of the shadowy spots, as you can see. And I don't know what's up with Ganymede with that, but... Here we are. I mean, it should have been all brightly lit by the sun and everything. So, yep, here we go. And uh, it's a bit of a slope, but it was safe. One of the benefits of using the Apollo Lunar Module style thing. I mean, it is the Apollo Lunar Module. It's just uh, one stage, though. And we just have the same fuel, Erosine and NTO. Okay, so Synonym Toast Crunch goes out, uh, did the normal flop, and plants a flag, sending him on Ganymede, and I said, uh, let's see, not toast, not toast so far, I was wondering whether it was not toast yet, or anyway. I think we had a quick save just in case beforehand that uh, was called is synonym toast. And it turns out Synonym was not toast. We did manage the landing on one go, otherwise I would have told you. And we were headed up again. If we could refuel this thing, it would be a reusable lander. And there we are, it's still very patchy as far as the color on the surface of Ganymede. This part is all alright, I guess. Some shadowy bits. And we are back in orbit with 300 meters per second to spare for rendezvous. So it's probably good that we didn't try to go directly down from the mothership and without the assistance of the supply vessel. The plan was always uh, based on being in a low orbit. And here we are docking again. Just a single Kerbal landing on Ganymede, but that is accomplished. I don't recall ever having landed on Ganymede before, so I think this was a first. I mean, I had landed probes on Ganymede before, but I don't think a Kerbal, unless I'm mistaken. Anyway, in the meantime, we had to quickly jump to this Uranus probe in order to capture it around Uranus. It's using an RD-502 Pentaborian HTP engine. Uh, that's why it has that sickly green plume. Uh, so, yep, Pentaborian, very interesting. Only five ignitions, though. So, we have to be careful about that. We have captured, though. It has the benefit of being storable fuels that are fairly efficient. Not quite as good as hydrogen and oxygen, but uh, better than any other combination. And so, after having done that, we jump back to our Ganymede stuff. And make the rendezvous again. So, off goes the lander from the supply vessel. The supply vessel and the main ship dock together because we might want to continue using the delta V of the supply vessel. And we dock the lander to the side to transfer Synonym Toast Crunch into the main ship, which doesn't have a whole lot of crew space. Uh, Synonym Toast Crunch and Pekka accepted the fact that they would be in very tight quarters. So that's fine. I mean, going out to Jupiter is a tough thing. Back to the Uranus probe, as you can see with Uranus back there. You make corrections because this has to go into orbit around Miranda, the closest moon around Uranus that we have in the game. And so it's just matching up with Miranda. Eventually, Mikko Gagazov is uh, planning to arrive at Uranus. That was our crewed Uranus mission. And he wanted to get into orbit around Miranda. So I decided it was the logical thing to try and scan for resources all the way out here. That's how Miranda looks. Not exactly great, but it's not like we sent a whole lot of probes to Uranus, have we? So it's just like Voyager. I forget which one. I always mix up one and two as far as which one actually hit Uranus and Neptune. But anyway, so yeah, we well, tried to do the scanning, but I forgot. We're not doing comms in this series. 
and the scanning still requires comms so I didn't put a special comm unit on there because we're not doing comms in the series but the scanning always needs comms anyway even if you don't have comms enabled so we couldn't do the scan. Anyway, transferring resources and making sure crew are in the right part around Saturn. This was our Titan mission. This is with R3 King, Katak, Mr. Doobie and Dialord Root and we're just trying to make sure they can get back because the Saturn to Earth trip back is the next thing on our schedule in the Kerbal Alarm Clock there. So yeah, arranging that, I decided that it would be good for them to have extra supplies. I found some in that Titan station and tried to figure out how to rendezvous them. There was also the option of this particular supply vessel. And the thing is, both of them would have a lot of trouble trying to get into orbit around Titan to meet up with them. They could sort of match orbits with Titan somewhat, but it's best not to try and get them all the way because with ion engines they might not have the Delta V. So I decided that this should escape first, the big ship escaped Titan orbit and got into that sort of lopsided orbit, higher orbit. That made it easier for the other ships to potentially rendezvous with it. And then I decided to send the Saturn station over. Uh, so here it is doing a bunch of burns, again ion engine. So it takes because it takes a long time, the sort of listed delta V on the maneuver node isn't exactly what we end up needing. We always end up needing more. And here we basically run out. I've got the hypergolic engines also active there, and we run out of the Arizine NTO for the hypergolic engines, which also means that this doesn't have any RCS. Now it does have a fairly large reaction wheel on board to hold steady, but the large ship had to actually do the docking with it, which it was interesting because this is a much larger ship as you'll soon see. So here we are trying to orient and it has to attach itself to the side. So yeah, that's the relative size of these things with Saturn in the background. And this was just an uh, interesting sort of thing. Uh, 271 ton ship trying to maneuver it to dock with RCS was not at all easy. And with that spinning thing, <laughs> uh, just clearing the radiators on the other ship. But we did manage to dock. And so I transferred the supplies over to make sure that the uh, four crew would definitely have enough to cover their trip back. Really, it was way overboard. We've got way too much, way more than necessary for a trip between Saturn and Earth. I mean, it is it is a long trip though, so it's probably better to be safe. Anyway, so we decouple from that. This job is done. And... It will remain a station around Saturn, that's what it was called, so it is still a Saturn station. And we try and figure out the trip home. And it's not too bad as far as Delta V is concerned, but it'll probably be costly on the capture once we get there. That's the main thing. Escaping Saturn isn't that big a deal. It's the whole capturing around Earth that's going to be more troublesome. And here we are with Envy Silence, who has his own trip back, this one from Jupiter. Envy Silence was around Europa and has enough food, water, and oxygen, three years or so. But Delta V Y, but that's tight, and Delta V wise, it wasn't great. So I decided that Envy Silence would have to rendezvous with these two, Pekka and Cinem Toast Crunch, around Ganymede. And so we have to. Uh, dump the lander first because otherwise you know, it's sort of hanging off to the side and will imbalance us. And then uh, this mission escapes from Ganymede, same reason as we had with the Titan mission. We don't want to have to have the other part capturing around Ganymede unnecessarily. So out into Jupiter space with everything. This exits and the other mission will also exit Europa space and then we are going to have them meet up in Jupiter space. So there we go, that's uh, initiating the time warp part of the ion engine burn. And here MB Silence is escaping Europa, doing extra burns to help out with the rendezvous. All around the serene Jupiter there. And here we are doing the rendezvous. So this episode has featured a landing on Ganymede and then mainly we were trying to figure out how to get these folks back home. And we will ultimately 
fulfill that in the future episodes because we aren't quite at the time yet. We're just arranging the nodes and making sure they have all the supplies they need and the propellant that they need. And so here we are docked, transferring uh, RCS propellant as well, not just the main engine, not the ion engine propellant alone. We also need to make sure that they have the ability to turn and stuff like that. So that's important. And then we separate. So after that, I plot for their journey back and see how much Delta B it's going to take to capture. Again, keeping in mind ion engines, so whatever it reads as the Delta B that's required, it's going to take more than that. We can already see the escape is going to take a bunch, 5,340. And I'll have the supply vessel push us out and then let it go and then uh, continue on with the main vessel. But yeah, capturing is going to take a bunch. So this one is looking a bit tight. We'll see how it turns out. So with this shot of it in front of Jupiter, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.